Hello everybody, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this 2024 Ford Bronco Badlands Sasquatch. Absolutely beautiful azure gray exterior color. I believe this has the uh, higher output 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 and a 10 speed automatic transmission. Starting off up front with the Badlands, you are gonna get the full premium LED front headlights. We do have the uh, removable all metal front bumper with a skid plate down below. Really nice powder coated tow recovery hooks, adaptive cruise control sensor. Bronco is gonna be spelled out in white lettering. Your front facing camera is gonna be right here because this guy has the 360 degree camera system. Front parking sensors are integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. And again, this can be removed for an increased approach angle. Absolutely massive shocks with remote reservoirs in front and back. Oversized fender flares because with the Sasquatch package, I believe it's a two inch level and then you get a 35 inch tall Goodyear Territory MT. The exact size is a 315-70 R17, which I believe translates to roughly a 35 inch tall tire. Then we have this black and machined simulated beadlock wheel right here. Powder coated rock sliders all the way down. Carbonized gray mirror caps, mirror mounted camera right there for the 360 degree camera system. Your Badlands Sasquatch package is gonna be right there. This vehicle has accessory points pretty much everywhere so you can run your LED pods here. They got accessory points here. I've seen people run uh, wire or string from here up to here so when they're off-roading if they come in contact with an overhanging branch instead of hitting the windshield it'll just hang on the uh, rope or the string and then as they pass it it'll go off which is pretty nice hard carbonized gray uh, hard top this one does come with the soft top as well it's in the back right now <clears throat> I do apologize as the vehicle is not clean it just got delivered off the truck and then parked back here so there is a little bit of dirt as you can see Parking sensors in the middle portion of the bumper that is all metal and powder coated. Dual tow recovery hooks out back. Full size 35 inch spare. Backup camera is gonna be right here. This guy does have the passive entry system so you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver passenger side door as well as the back door. Full LED tail lamps with blind spot monitoring. Right here we have your capless fuel filler door. Then we have the different generations of Broncos. I absolutely love this azure gray exterior color. The interior is pretty unique as well. This thing looks very aggressive. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So like I said, this vehicle was literally just dropped off. Um, so we'll go over just some of the key features real quick because I don't have access to everything. But starting off over on the driver's side door, we have your door handle and then your lock and unlock buttons. Right over here, we have the front facing LED lights for the side mirrors on off. Rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. Dimmer switch for your instrument cluster. Electronic parking brake right down there. Coming up top to the dash, it is a very shallow dash. There is some nice little storage trays right here with USB outlet and a USB type C outlet right there. There is an accessory ready point right here. So if you wanna mount a GoPro here, you can, or an accessory bar, it's pretty cool. Really nice orange stitching. I like this rubberized texture material that's on the dash. It's a little bit more of an upgrade from like the outer banks uh, trim. I think they did a really good job with this. Coming back to the steering wheel, really nice soft leather up steering wheel with mild bolsters at 10 and two. Right here we have a uh, analog speedometer and then a really nice sized LCD screen in the middle. As you can see, it is in transport mode so I don't have access to a lot of the features. The steering wheel on the left side, we have all the cruise control buttons as well as your uh, steering wheel mounted audio controls. Over on the right side, we have the control pad for the center LCD display, and then some more steering wheel mounted audio controls and phone controls. Up top right here, we have all of your off-road uh, buttons. I believe this unlocks the sway bar, this locks the front diff, this locks the rear diff, and this is the trail turn button. Um, kind of hard to explain. Uh, so in this picture, the vehicle is turning right. So what's gonna happen is when you push this button, it's gonna essentially lock that 
right rear wheel in place and then give more power to the three wheels, meaning you can turn pretty much on a dime. I've seen it before at the uh, auto show and stuff and it looks really cool. Then to the right of that, you have your traction control off button and then your hazard light button. That brings us to the massive touchscreen display. It does have wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, 4G LTE connection, obviously it's got navigation. It's got the card system too, so right now we have navigation taking up the main screen. If I want the audio to take up the main screen, I can just simply push audio and then it'll switch them. Uh, as of 2023, I believe you can get full screen Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is really cool. Really nice touchscreen, lots of features. You have your zone lighting, all that stuff right here. I like it a lot. I love the uh, kind of like yellowish orange color scheme that's throughout the vehicle. Push button start. All of your physical controls for the radio are right here. You've got your 360 degree camera system button right there, as well as your parking sensor off button. Under that you have your dual zone climate control with heated seats as well as heated steering wheel button. Media hub with USB and USB type C as well as a nice wireless charging mat. Two cup holders, shifter with manual plus minus. Right here we have your push button transfer case, two high, four high, four auto, four low. And then in the middle we have like your trail control mode, which is essentially cruise control at extremely slow off-road speeds. Then right here we have your GOAT modes, which stands for go over anything or go over all terrain. I've heard it both ways. But when you turn that, you actually get a different uh, animation on the uh, LCD screen, which is pretty cool. We're gonna keep that in eco. Then right here we have all the window controls for the vehicle. Something cool about this one is all four windows are automatic up and automatic down. Child lock for the windows and then your uh, side mirror controls. Nice storage compartment with a 12 volt outlet in the back and a cutout for cord management. <clears throat> really nice, it's almost like a pleather feeling uh, material or like a vinyl. Very, very uh, rugged, very durable. The floors are no carpet floors and there's actually drain spouts as you can see right there. So if you do get water in here, you can just simply undo the drains and all the water will drain out. And there's actually channels where it'll channel the water for you to, look to the lowest spot. Glove box is going to be right here, pretty big for this size of vehicle. Coming up top to the vanity, it's going to be incandescent lit for your passenger as well as your driver. The driver vanity does have a three-door universal garage remote. Because this is a Sasquatch, it comes with auxiliary upfitter switches. Um, I love that Ford actually has them as physical switches and not buttons. I love where they're located. When they're on, it's indicated by an amber, you can see that. It's indicated by an amber light. That means it is either live or hot. I love that Ford actually has switches. In front of that, you have the LED dome map light master controls. And then finally, you have an auto dimming rear view mirror. So overall, interior is essentially just like any other uh, Bronco of this size. However, the color scheme is really what kind of sets it apart. Um, unfortunately, because the soft top is in the back seats, I won't be able to show you everything that's back there. I know that there is a media hub right here and the center seat has an armrest slash cup holder. Something that I love about this versus the competition is there is no center cross member on the B pillar right here. So the rear occupants have maximum visibility and maximum headroom, which is always nice. They also put this kind of felt um, almost carpet liner on the roof to kind of deaden some of the road noise because on the first couple years of release of the Bronco, the road noise was absolutely horrible. But again, <clears throat> they've made a lot of improvements and I think they did an amazing, amazing job with this vehicle. Let's take a look at the trunk and see what's back there if we can. So to get access to the trunk, you're just gonna come up to this door handle right here and pull on it. Even though there is a full size 35 inch spare, there is a strut right here, which is nice. It does assist it so that way it's very easy to open and close. Then you're gonna come up to the glass pull on the glass and you'd be good to go. On the driver's side, you're gonna get this nice storage pocket right here. On the passenger side, you're gonna get a 12 volt outlet and an LED cargo uh, uh, lamp. Something that I really like that Ford did versus the competition as well. These electrical connectors, they actually give you dummy spots to plug them in, which is really, really cool. Um, they're not just dangling. You don't have to worry about water getting in them. Right here typically is a little spot too to put like all the different uh, 
bolts and nuts and stuff like that for the doors. On the full size Bronco, uh, you can get the kit to have all four of your doors stow in the trunk, which is really, really cool. Taking everything off is real easy, whether it be the roof, the hard top. Um, I haven't taken off the soft top yet, so uh, I do not know how to do that one, but the hard top is very easy to take off. Closing the trunk is real easy. You just simply reverse the process. And again, because this is assisted, it's real easy to close. Coming around to the doors real quick. The doors are very easy to take off. Once the windows are all down, uh, there is a lift point right here. You can see there's like a door handle so one person can take off every single door. And then these are these little things right here are spring loaded and they're gasket lined. So as soon as you unplug the door from the connector, this will spring close and it's gasket lined again so you don't have to worry about water getting in there. Very, very cool. Let's take a quick look now at the window sticker. So there is some tint on the rear glass, so I will go over the key features. Again, this is a 2024 Ford Bronco Badlands four-door, 4x4, with a 2.7 EcoBoost and a 10-speed auto. Transmission exterior is Azure Gray Metallic Tri-Coat. Standard equipment is right here for a base price of $51,385. Optional equipment is in this rectangle right here. Most notably, we have the 334A Equipment Group, which is the Badland series, and it's the mid package for $4,575. Azure Gray for $995. 27 EcoBoost V6 for $2145. 10 Speed Auto for $1495. The Sasquatch package, which includes the, uh, what is that, 4.7 rear axle locking diff. Uh, front axle locking diff, 17 inch black alumina, uh, aluminum beadlock alloy ring, 315, 70, R17, 35 inch tall tires. This one comes with the two tops, the, the hard and the soft top for 2840, bringing the total MSRP to $69,530. Fuel economy rating is right here. This vehicle is rated at 17 miles to the gallon city, 17 miles to the gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles to the gallon. I wanna thank Spirit Ford for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2024 Ford lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Let Cheryl know you saw the video and she'll be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date on more vehicle walkthroughs, be sure to subscribe to the channel and please also check out all the affiliate links in the description below as it does greatly help about the channel. Like always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.